Here's a more detailed and slightly extended version of 10 signs you need to love yourself more that you can cover in 8 minutes. It includes extra depth and reflection for each point while still maintaining clarity and engagement. 1. Constant Self-Criticism Do you often find yourself focusing on every little mistake or flaw? If you're overly harsh with yourself and constantly criticize your actions, appearance, or decisions, it's a clear sign of a lack of self-love. Self-criticism can be toxic, eroding your confidence and self-esteem over time. Start practicing self-compassion by recognizing that everyone makes mistakes, and treat yourself with the kindness you'd offer a friend. Action. When you catch yourself being self-critical, try to reframe your thoughts with something encouraging or neutral. 2. Difficulty accepting compliments. When someone praises you, do you feel uncomfortable or dismiss the compliment? If you find it difficult to accept compliments or feel like you don't deserve them, it indicates that you might not see your own value. Accepting compliments graciously shows a healthy sense of self-worth, but pushing them away could be a sign that you don't believe in yourself as much as you should. Action. Next time someone compliments you, pause and say thank you without any downplaying. 3. Always putting others first. It's great to be kind and caring, but if you consistently put others' needs before your own to the point where you neglect yourself, it's a sign of poor self-love. You might find yourself feeling exhausted, drained, or resentful. It's essential to remember that your needs matter too, and loving yourself means striking a balance between giving to others and giving to yourself. Action. Set aside time each day just for you, whether it's for self-care, relaxation, or pursuing a passion. 4. Comparing yourself to others. Do you constantly compare your life, career, or appearance to others? Comparison is a surefire way to diminish your self-esteem. Everyone is on their own unique journey, and comparing yourself to someone else's highlight reel can make you feel inadequate. Loving yourself more means appreciating your own path and progress, and recognizing that you are enough as you are. Action. When you catch yourself comparing, refocus on your own achievements and what makes you proud of yourself. 5. Fear of failure. Are you afraid to try new things or take risks because you fear failing? This can be a sign that you don't trust yourself enough to handle challenges or mistakes. Loving yourself means accepting that failure is a part of growth, and that you are capable of overcoming setbacks. When you have self-love, you view failure as an opportunity to learn rather than a reflection of your worth. Action. Take a small risk this week in an area of your life where you've been holding back. Remember, the outcome doesn't define your value. 6. Difficulty setting boundaries. Do you say yes to things you don't want to do just to keep others happy? Struggling to set boundaries often comes from a fear of disappointing people or being disliked. If you love yourself, you know that setting healthy boundaries is crucial for protecting your time, energy, and emotional well-being. Boundaries aren't selfish, they're a way of showing respect for yourself and others. Action. Practice saying no without feeling guilty. Start small, and remind yourself that it's okay to prioritize your needs. 7. Seeking external validation. Are you always looking for approval from others to feel good about yourself? Relying on external validation can be exhausting and unfulfilling because it means you're not giving yourself enough self-approval. If you depend on others to affirm your worth, you may be neglecting your own ability to recognize your value. Self-love is about believing in yourself without needing constant validation from the outside world. Action. Take a moment each day to acknowledge something you like about yourself, without seeking praise from others. 8. Ignoring your well-being. Do you find yourself neglecting basic self-care, such as getting enough sleep, eating well, or taking time to relax? When you don't prioritize your mental and physical health, it's a sign that you're not valuing yourself enough. 
Self-love means taking care of your body and mind, recognizing that you deserve to feel good and be healthy. Ignoring your well-being leads to burnout and stress, and it's often a sign that you need to start paying more attention to your needs. Action. Commit to one act of self-care every day, whether it's a short walk, meditation, or simply getting more rest. 9. Feeling unworthy of love or success. Do you feel deep down that you don't deserve happiness, success, or love? This can stem from low self-esteem or past experiences that have made you doubt your worth. Loving yourself means recognizing that you are inherently worthy of good things, regardless of your past or imperfections. Everyone deserves love and success, including you. Action. Practice positive affirmations that reinforce your worth. For example, I am worthy of love and success. 10. Perfectionism. Are you constantly striving for perfection, feeling like nothing you do is ever good enough? Perfectionism is often rooted in fear of being judged or not measuring up, and it can be paralyzing. Self-love allows you to embrace your imperfections and recognize that being good enough is perfectly fine. You don't have to be flawless to be worthy of love, respect, and happiness. Action. Set more realistic expectations for yourself, and celebrate progress instead of perfection. Closing Thoughts Recognizing these signs in yourself is the first step toward cultivating more self-love. Start small, being kinder to yourself, setting boundaries, and practicing self-compassion. Over time, as you grow your self-love, you'll notice improvements in your mental, emotional, and even physical well-being. You deserve to love yourself fully. This version dives deeper into each point, offering a brief reflection and an actionable step to help you implement self-love into your daily life, while still fitting into an 8-minute time frame.